The goal is to travel back to Spawn Island. This is good. We've got to get through this storm in 10 seconds or less. Is it working? everyone i hope you're all having an amazing day today we're going to be doing things never seen before within the world of fortnite and i also have thought up a theoretical plan to finally reach spawn island within the world of fortnite something that hasn't been available to do for a long long time now ever since epic games stopped us from doing it even though it was such a fun thing to do so we're going to be trying so much stuff in today's video it is going to be so much fun now everything you're about to see is possible because of a few reasons Firstly, the Shadow Cubes are finally back within the world of Fortnite. It actually links in with this week's Week 2 Season 6 challenges. We actually have to go and use the Shadow Stones around different matches as well, which is going to enable us to have even more fun today as we're going to try and glitch into areas never been to before. Now, unfortunately, with the return of the Shadow Cubes, you can still see a notice at the bottom of your Fortnite lobby menu, which says this time the gold bound outfits are disabled. Now, for those of you guys that don't know what the gold bound outfits are i'll try and find them it's quite easy to spot because they are there you go look at them how many have they disabled oh there's loads of them isn't there yeah so if you see all of those crazy lock icons that's because for some reason they're messing up the game. I don't even know why or what is going on in the world of Fortnite anymore. So much stuff seems to be removed, added in, and talking about that, the domination dance mode that we're meant to get this week has just vanished. Obviously, we got the ice trap yesterday, and I just assume that the dance domination mode we're going to be getting maybe next week or at some point in the near future, where I assume for some reason there's more glitches of that mode, and hopefully it's fixed, and hopefully you can play that mode soon because it sounds like a lot of fun. Now, all of this wouldn't be possible without the brand new settings which have been re-enabled thank goodness in playgrounds mode where you can go to custom options you can change shield health uh, and everything you've seen on screen i showed this in yesterday's video however it was very shortly disabled as soon as it was live it's finally come back again today and uh, it's going to allow us to get up to a lot of fun as i said fingers crossed hopefully get us to spawn island as well which i cannot wait to try as always if you guys are new around here make sure you're subscribing if you're excited for another video give us a big fat thumbs up send me some good luck in my way by hitting Hitting that thumbs up button as the technique I have in mind is not going to be easy to pull off, but I am excited for it and I cannot wait to give it a go. So for this first run through, we're going to turn full damage off. We're going to have gravity gone from normal to low. We'll change it to very low in a second. We're going to accept that. We're going to jump into the game. Use the Galaxy skin because I actually haven't used it on my main PlayStation account ever since unlocking it from the good guys of Samsung, which is just a post you can see behind me there, a brand new setup as well. So let's get into the fun. All right, so we're obviously on Spawn Island right now we can see the rest of the world over there and the goal is to travel from the main island we can see in front of us back to spawner island now i'll show how this isn't possible or hasn't been possible in the past at least through reasons that epic games have actually put in place so Firstly, really, really simple. Let's just pretend we jump out of the battle bus really early and we try and fly over there. Obviously, it's not going to work. So basically, as soon as you go in the storm, I've glided to the outside of the map. I'm going to start chunking damage, chunking damage, and as soon as you lose damage, it will just end the Playgrounds game instantly. It is not like you going out the outside of the map. If you go in the storm, the game finishes just like that. So this is what it's like on low anti-grav. You jump up pretty damn high and you sort of float in the air. It's pretty cool. But before I forget, before we get carried away trying to get to Spawn Island, the island itself, uh, the floating island that is with the cube, is starting to change even more. With the fact that it is now, as I'm sure you guys have already seen, it's now on the second rune here in between Shifty Shafts and Greasy Grove. You can see it being lifted out of the ground just like with the first rune. The island is changing low. So even more of these weird cubes that, as I said the first time I saw them, just remind me of the cubes that I've seen within Destiny uh, Destiny 1 and 2 within the round the map. Uh, it's actually infecting the house on the inside as well. And I noticed this yesterday. One of you guys tweeted at me. Let's see if it's actually still here. Yeah, look at this. Weird gloop is coming out of the house as well. So everything is just basically starting to be infected. And if I was going to throw a theory out there as to what I think is going to happen to this island... Honestly, I think the whole thing's gonna be consumed by this weird purple rock. The main changes, and the first time we saw the changes with the first rune are under here as well. You can see even more of the purple gloop as well. 
This island is going to be consumed. I wouldn't be surprised if we can't get inside this underground bit by the time it hits the next few cubes because this stuff is growing so freaking quick. If you guys have any ideas as to what's going on or what you think is going to happen, do let me know down below in the comment section. But yeah, I don't think this island is going to be around for too much longer after it's reached all of the remaining five locations it's got to go to. All right, so the second cheat, which is now enabled within Playgrounds mode, which is going to help us reach the elusive spawn island, is the fact that you can turn on the setting, which means you're not going to take any fall damage. So if we do manage to fling ourselves over there, by the time we land and hit the ground, it's not going to hurt, which is obviously vitally important. Now, I've showed you guys what low grav mode looks like, um, and it's cool, but it's not going to be useful enough. We actually need to put super low grav mode on because that's going to allow us to go as far as we need to go in this process i've thought up in fact before we change it to super low grav mode i just want to see what happens if we're in this mode how far do we go come on q you meant to hit me that's better accuracy than that what are you doing come on hit me hit me there we go that's the ticket ladies and gentlemen so that is how far Cheese Louise. I actually didn't think it would send me that far simply being in just low grab mode. I think that is almost the complete length of the map. And if you haven't guessed already, this is going to be part of the process to get us where we need to get to. Um, but it's not as simple as it looks. Trust me. All right, gravity is going to very low. So just in case you haven't messed around with this already, this is what very low gravity mode looks like with a single jump. I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous. You are basically your own portable airplane as you control yourself in the air. You go so freaking far every time you jump. So you can't build within the vortex itself. You can only build like to a certain point around it. So now we've got very low grab mode on simply for test purposes. I want to see if I can chuck myself from the cube all the way to the opposite side of the map. Can't I have not tried this. I have no idea if it's going to work. Just thought it would be a really fun idea. It does nothing. Why is the cube so reluctant to hit me at the moment? What are you doing, cube? Come on. 2,000 years later. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Finally got the cube to hit me. Ladies and gentlemen, we are halfway across the map. We are above Dusty Divot. What? I legit went so high. The game thought I was, even though it's giving me these cheats, these aren't custom, the game thought I was cheating to a point where it had to kill me. That just shows you the extent of the power of the freaking cube, ladies and gentlemen. It is next level. So there's essentially three core parts, I'd say, to this. One is bypassing the outer ring of the storm, which is going to kill you in 10 seconds after passing it. Number two is obviously using the cube to propulse ourselves throw us, basically, all the way to Spawn Island, which I'm looking at in that direction is just off at the bottom of the map here. And the third part of this will involve these new shadow cubes. Now, I need to test something. I don't think it's going to work. To my knowledge, if I shoot the cube, put a shadow cube on, it won't hit me. But I could be wrong. Let's prove this whether or not it will work. So, I don't know what the cube's doing today, guys, but it just does not like me. Here we go. Done. Hmm. Okay, it hit me, but I didn't have the shadow cube on properly, so I'm gonna call that a failed attempt. You know what? I actually can't even seem to put the shadow cube on quick enough to be hit in the shadow mode, if that makes sense. It hits me just as I'm putting it on, which is actually perfect. That is actually how I want to be used. Want the shadow cube to be used. I want the shadow cube, or I want myself to be in shadow mode, um, and I want it to fling me whilst being the weird, glitchy, shadowy human that you are once you use it. All right, next up, let's try our first official attempt at getting to Spawn Island, or at least being flung. So, I'm just going to stand here. I'm going to keep on shooting this thing. That is rude. It doesn't even hit me. It just breaks what I'm standing on. The cube is so, so annoying today. I don't know what it is doing. There we go, boys. It is mission launch. As you can see, crispy, crispy clean takeoff here as we head towards Spawn Island. If anything, we're too high. Kevin, you sent us too high, mate. The thing is, once we get to this point, two issues. We've hit the invisible barrier and the game ends. The invisible barrier is something that's been created around the outside of the map 
to stop people getting to Spawn Island. The invisible barrier has been there, I think, since the beginning of the game. Uh, and it's basically been a physical block. Now, people have glitched around it using shopping carts, using weird techniques, but all of those have been stopped, yet the wall is still in the game. But, if you guys have been paying attention and have worked out what, what I've worked out, we put everything we've just learned together, we may be able to bypass this wall. This is the plan. I am gonna shoot the cube to a point where it's angry enough to retaliate and fire me back. I'm then gonna consume a shadow stone in the direction of Spawn Island. The idea is to be flung far enough to actually go ahead and reach that invisible barrier and use the shadow stone to actually go through the invisible barrier using, uh, for those of you guys who don't know, you can phase through anything in this game apart from like the actual floor of the map. But I mean, that would just be absolutely ridiculous. But if you pick up a shadow stone and look at like this tree, for example, you can go through it. So I'm in shadow mode now, phase through it. That's the idea when it comes to this invisible wall, potentially and hopefully allowing us to re-get back to Spawn Island if everything comes together. One final thing which is a little bit annoying is obviously there are shadow cubes scattered around everywhere. I'm pretty sure their spawning is random. It's not consistent even in playground mode. But the ones that are lined up with the cube and with the direction of the actual island at the moment is just this one. And yeah, honestly, just one attempt in this playground mode. Maybe that one over there. So let's hope we can try and nail this first time. Wish me luck, guys. Give it a thumbs up to send all of your positive vibes and good luck wishes my way. It's going to have to be timed pretty well, pretty spectacularly, and maybe need some slight adjustments, potentially using some bounce pads or launch pads. Let's see. Here we go. It's hit me. It's hit me. This is good. Angle-wise, it's really, really crispy, actually. I'm a little bit lower than I want to be, but I knew I was going to be low because of the fact that the cube is on the floor. Now, I can't actually just land there. I've got to phase my way all the way over. I'm going to have to phase my way upwards. I have a timing and the length of the shadow cube, which is going to hold me back. The fact that I think I am gradually losing height and I've only got seven seconds once I'm in the storm to actually phase all the way through the wall because obviously I've only got 70 health. But it's working to a point. This is it. This is it. But this part has got... No! We were so close. For our first attempt, that is nutty. Oh, that is insane. So we're always going to take 30 damage from the fact that the cube is hurting us. We can solve that by putting on a slurp juice before we get hit. Um, we're being shot a little bit low. Uh, so we could bounce pad next to the shadow cube to get a little bit more height. See, we're constantly refining this, guys. I I've got some... I'm positive, man. I'm positive. Plan or attempt, I should say, number two. Oh, we're at such a low angle here with this one. We'll give it a go anyway. Put the bounce pad there. I'm going to put on the slurp, shoot the cube, then eat the shadow cube, then go on the bounce pad, and then hopefully go far enough. All in all, should count all of the issues we had so far. We just need to get to that invisible barrier and try and get through it. So here goes nothing. All right. That's on. That's it. No! Get back! Ew! Ah! <laughs> Failed attempt to pull, pull. The hardest thing is listening out for when the cube's angry and it's about to shoot me. Then going for that and then going for that. So I've got to be really... I've got to listen out here. Put this on. See, there it didn't even get angry at me. There it did. Put it on. I got it on. All right. We didn't take the bounce pad. But honestly, may not matter. This is better than last time. This is a lot better than last time. Eating health. Going back up. This is good. This is this is a lot better. I've got a spam phase. We've just got to get through this storm in 10 seconds or less. The slurp juice was a bit of a smart idea. Can't lie. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Is it working? Is it working? It worked! Is it working? No! No! I think that was the wall. I think that was the wall. I stopped moving. I definitely stopped moving. I thought we were gonna do it. We were so close to the edge of the island. What the hell? I thought we'd done it. I actually thought we'd done it. So much thought and went into that. We didn't even execute perfect. We didn't even need the bounce pad in the end, but it wasn't quite enough. 
Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I've come into theater mode just to be sure that I definitely hit the barrier before I go and assume that it didn't quite work properly. I'm actually really surprised that we even managed to get off the shadow cube in time. Okay, so, okay, okay, chill, chill. Jeez Louise, it sends you far. Where am I? Is this me up here? Yeah, this is me. Okay, let's slow it down a little bit. I'm gonna have to go even slower than that. Jeez Louise, man, you go so fast. I'm at a quarter speed here. This is how fast you, <laughs> this is how fast the cube sends you. Okay, so at this point, we're still flying, still flying. It was a really good angle. I was really surprised. I do think the jump pad, maybe a little bit too much. I don't know, but it, this was good enough what we needed, but we would have struggled to get onto the edge of the mountain or of the actual island here. So we keep on going. I'll speed it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm phasing in, phasing in, phasing. Oh, the camera won't let me go any further. I'm further than the camera will let me go. Okay, hold on. That's me right there, ladies and gentlemen. Scary, spooky little shadow cube man. Not quite. Not quite in the storm. I'm about to head in now. Okay, I think I'm about to go in here. That's me. I'm going in. Still progressing. Still progressing. And at some point, I do hit what I think is the wall. And my body just stops going forwards. Jeez, I'm in there for a while. Still haven't hit it yet. That's it. That's the wall there, I think. I get one more attempt, and then it kills me. I'm pretty sure that's the end after that. Oh, man, Epic game. You are not letting us get back there easily, are you? You've got to respect how much they don't want us on Spawn Island. They put a lot of effort into it, that's for sure. Can't lie, I thought all of those things would come together. I'm absolutely gutted. If you guys got any other ideas that may work, leave them down below in the comment section. And as always, I'd love to give them a go, but... Doesn't look like this one quite worked out, unfortunately. So, so close. The good news is, obviously, Shadow Cubes are back in the game. And I've got some really cool ideas for them in actual real game uses, which I cannot wait to share with you guys. And I'm also going to be hitting up some more mini games because I haven't done any in ages. And I want to do some more hide and seek. Just more fun stuff in Playgrounds now that it's back. And now that all these crazy mods are in there as well. I'm gutted it didn't work, but I hope you had fun playing along with me. It's been a fun journey. Who knows? Maybe we'll figure something else out. Maybe you guys have got some ideas down below. But thanks so much for watching. Check out more videos on screen here or down below in my playlist which has every single one of my Fortnite videos. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.